watching Global Talk. Current issues of oil and the gas industry and the latest technology in the production of hydrocarbons. These were the main topics at the second annual technical conference of the Caspian region, which was organized by the Society of Petroleum Engineers. Let me remind you that the first conference of this scale took place last year here in Astana. This year, the baton of this significant oil and gas form, Kazakhstan, passed to its partner in the Caspian region, Azerbaijan. More than 500 professionals and experts from the oil and gas industry around the world gathered in the capital of Azerbaijan, Baku. The city is located at the crossroads of Asia and Europe, where old buildings successfully coexist with modern architecture. Baku was chosen as the venue of the Caspian Technical Conference, not by a chance. After all, the world's first oil well was drilled near Baku in 1847 on the Apsheron Peninsula. Azerbaijan is one of the alma mater of the oil industry, as it was in the days of the Soviet Union and before it. So holding for Azerbaijan such an event for us personally is an honor. We are happy to have responded to the favor from SPE, and as you can see, we have quite a solid audience, quite interesting discussions. Our panel of risk management of mega projects was quite open and had some very interesting speakers. Well, Baku is the birthplace of oil production and the first production ever started in Baku. At first, they applied a certain type of drilling, which is now known as well production. The well production means when a vessel with a valve at the bottom is inserted to the ground to retrieve petroleum or gas from an underground deposit. That was the way they would extract oil at the beginning. Of course, later there were developments of a variety of industrial processes, and drilling was carried out in another way. I've been here only one year, and I feel myself much more comfortable in this conference, feeling this uh, exactly one of the biggest advantages of the place. It's really nice, and uh, if you go just 100 meters to the right, you'll see how, how beautiful it looks like. So that's my expression about this conference. This prestigious technical conference of the Society of Petroleum Engineers was a good opportunity for professional colleagues to share their experiences and discuss existing problems. The international forum participants believe that such meetings are very necessary since it contributes to the deeper understanding of the oil and gas industry, in particular of the Caspian region. Well, it's, first of all, it's uh, networking with, uh, with oil companies, especially BP. And uh, I also had a workshop with BP yesterday. So it's trying to, uh, to elaborate on, on the discussions we had there, the further you know, meeting people and so on here. Well, I mean, as far, yeah, as, far as SPE, we've, I've been to a lot of different conferences. You know, off of Europe, I've been to the uh, United States, a conference there. So the organization, it provides a lot of good technical uh, meeting points and networking possibilities. Uh, so, yeah, I'm thinking about you know, using this opportunity for, for becoming more known to, to the market in the uh, in, uh, Caspian area. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, so that's, that's kind of why I would uh, consider becoming a member as well. We are attending the second Caspian Technical Conference uh, of SPE, the Society of Petroleum Engineers. Uh, the first was held in Astana almost a, a year ago, and I uh, had the honor and pleasure to uh, chair this one in Astana. So this was the first, uh, and, and frankly speaking, because of the support and help we got from the service companies and operating companies, especially TCO and, and, and Tengiz Chevro Oil in Kazakhstan, we made it a, a very big success and very happy to see that the second session of such a conference coming to Baku, the great city, um, again in the Caspian region, which is great, um, and definitely the, uh, the event is proving itself to become uh, such a network uh, gathering of all the oil and gas industry professionals uh, coming to here to discuss, especially on the very tough time uh, we have currently because of the prices, uh, but still the potential of SPE is great uh, as a society, very professional, biggest all over the world, and providing 
its members with uh, such a help, such you know, um, uh, an opportunity, uh, such a venue, and uh, yeah, I have no doubt that the upcoming even sessions of this conference. SP Atrov section is the oldest section in the Kazakhstan. Uh, this year it will celebrate its 20th anniversary of being an SP Atrov section. And uh, the way it helps students and uh, its members is through various technical meetings, through social activities and through forums. Like recently we created a, ne a student network symposium in one of the universities in Atrov. Currently we have two student chapters of SPE within our section. It's Atra Oil and Gas Institute and APEC Petrotechnical School. We support both those student chapters by providing funds to send them to conferences like this one. For example, this uh, conference, uh, we have a student who is sponsored fully registration, uh, travel, accommodation to go here to make some connections, to see what SP is all about, and to network with other fellow students from Azerbaijan, from Russia, from Kazakhstan. It's a good personal development opportunities. And for our members, we create technical meetings where we invite industry professionals, people with lots of knowledge, lots of expertise, who are eager to share all they have with the young generation, so that uh, the young generation in the future can avoid doing the same mistakes or, or follow the same path uh, again in the future. Within the framework of the Caspian Technical Conference, innovative projects and reports on key issues of the oil and gas industry were presented, from the latest technology of well construction to environmental issues, and to provide oil and gas companies well-qualified personnel. We prepared two scientific we have prepared two scientific and technical articles. So the theme of the first article is electric line, well interventions to optimize operations. And the second theme is deployment of downhole fiber optic sensing technology in Karachiganak field. Up to now, we used electronic stationary sensors for measuring the temperature of the pressure in the wells. But recently, we started to face some problems, getting data from the depth measurement, and we carried out some research in order to find the alternative electronic stationary sensors. And we came to the conclusion that fiber optic technology could be well suited. As you know, oil and gas industry includes different specialties and we will see people of different specialties here. And now we have just listened to the report about a new technique to increase oil and gas production in old fields. Baker Hughes offers new methods. It is very interesting. Azerbaijan is very much in need of this technology. I personally found it very interesting. The motto of this year's conference was ensuring sustainable growth in a changing environment, which reflects the growing importance of maintaining sustainable development of the Caspian region, especially today's complex realities, and this is reflected in the theme of the conference panel sessions. Well, obviously, there is uh, there is huge restrictions on, on investments from, from the oil companies at the moment. Uh, but I could say from, from my perspective, it is a huge opportunity as well. Uh, as our technology will provide the oil companies with uh, a lower capex investment for new facilities and also enable them to, to, be, uh, to produce more from their existing facilities. So it's kind of, uh, the way I see it, it's also an opportunity for us. We are helping them reducing their capex investments uh, and we're also helping them uh, increasing production capacity on existing fields. So, you know, when their target is to reduce their capex investments, and also uh, utilize the existing fields in order to minimize their, their new investments. This is how we can help them. So this brings us a lot of opportunities. In fact, the price of oil is reduced, and it is expected that in the future it may decrease even more. But life goes on. Mining exploration and production continues in any case. The geologists are working. Geologists are always busy. We don't sell oil. Of course, oil prices affect everyone. 
not just in the field of oil and gas. The same thing is happening in Kazakhstan and Azerbaijan. Let us hope the situation will improve. The Society of Petroleum Engineers, or SPE, is a non-profit professional association that brings together more than 140,000 experts from 147 countries of the world. And the ranks of the non-profit association are replenished every year. Since one of the main features of the SPE mission is to support young students, assistance in the search for potential employers, as well as personal development. I started working in SPE in 2006. At NCOC, working on a North Caspian project, such as Kashagan oil field, I started getting involved in SP in 2006, when I attended the University of Tulsa. After graduation, I had several experiences working as a reservoir engineer in Stat Oil, and then moving on to NCOC, where there was an opportunity to work in Houston as a second D in ExxonMobil. After working there in a couple of years as a reservoir engineer, I gained a lot of experience from a major oil company as ExxonMobil. After my time in Houston, there was an offer to come back to work in Astana for NCOC office. I thought that it was a great opportunity for me. In general, I think that young professionals, young specialists in Kazakhstan have great opportunities. There are large mega fields like Kashagan, Karchaganak and Tengiz, and potentially in the future, Project Eurasia, which could be a great platform and a great place to work for young specialists. I joined the SPI in 2007 while attending the University of Tulsa as a regular member, following, following with the 2008 where I joined the board of the section. So I had the different uh, responsibilities over the, board, over the board, held different positions, starting from a treasurer, secretary, vice president, graduate representative. In 2011, I graduated with bachelor's, so following in 2012, I was a graduate representative for master's and doctor students. My responsibility was making sure that their interest, interests were well represented in the organization. Uh, while um, doing my graduate representative job, I was uh, involved, I was in charge of organizing a trip for 30 students to attend a conference in a ATC, SP conference in Florence, Italy. And our job was to make sure that students will pay as much small money as possible, where we will find um, sponsorship from uh, petroleum companies. We, we've been successful. We, we've been able to send uh, 30 students to Florence where they had the opportunity to attend the conference. And um, after graduation, I left to Kazakhstan, to Atrau City, where uh, I joined the Atrau section board as a secretary and was utilizing the skills that I got in the U.S. by working in organization with being able to become a successful section in Kazakhstan where we, with uh, everybody's effort, we've been able to open a student chapter under the APEC College. Uh, currently we're working on opening a professional section in Uralsk. As well as our, I can say that a big contribution to the organizing of the CTC 2014 conference in Astana and today we are well represented here in Baku. According to the participants, this meeting was effective for the professionals of the oil and gas industry, since each participant could get something useful, something he needs, establishing new business contacts, or even getting practical advice, particularly in new conditions of the oil world market. It was Global Talk. I'm Chris Stanton. See you soon on Kazakh TV.